you ever wondered what the perfect sandwich is? No, not this sandwich. A sandwich card trick. Well, I might have just found it. What I'm about to show you is one of the cleanest sandwich tricks in my opinion. So stay tuned. Let's set these jokers aside for now. Now I want you to stay stop on a card that calls out to you. So if I give the deck one magical riffle, you can see that one card actually appears between the two jokers. Let's lose the card again. Wait, what? So that was the sandwich trick by the one and only Xavier Spade. I bet you're eager to learn this. So let's not waste any more time and jump straight into this tutorial. Grab your decks and let's get started. By the way, these are the regalia playing cards made by Shin Lim. So if you want to start off the trick the way I did, there's a bit of a setup. You've got to remove the two jokers beforehand. There they are. So you've got to put the first joker face up on top and the other joker face down on top of it. And then you can do some shuffles and a couple of false cuts while maintaining those jokers on top. And then for producing the two jokers you've got to do a top shot in which you basically just pull down on the bottom right corner of this card. But when you do it with force the card should come flying out. I'll leave a link from where you can learn this properly down below. So then as you swing them the jokers, you've got to push over this top card and put your pinky in the gap that's created. And then put those two jokers on top of the break. So now you've got a break of three cards. Then you take the first joker and strip it out. The second joker has the other card below it. And then you pick up the first joker with the second joker and set it down. Makes sense, right? And then you make them select a card. So you tell them to say stop whenever. So the card in this case is the six of clubs. Then you take the six of clubs and put it back on top. And then you've got to lift up a chunk of cards and hold onto this packet with your index finger and grab the bottom portion with your middle finger and the top portion with your thumb and hold on tightly. And then as you apply some pressure to pull out the top card, you'll notice that the top card doesn't move. Instead, the bottom card comes out because your index finger is holding onto it. So the bottom card is the queen of clubs. So when I pull like that, the queen of clubs comes out and the selection is still on top. So you pretend to lose the selection back in the center by doing that and a shuffle. But in reality, it stays on top all along. And then you'll do a magical riffle, which in reality does nothing. And so that one card has appeared between the jokers. And then as you swing them the jokers, you've got to secretly push over this top card and grab a pinky break. And then put the packet of 3 cards on top of the break. So now you have a break of 4 cards in a, in a position like this. And then you strip out the first joker and show them the bottom card which will be the selection. And then you turn the packet back over and strip out the top card which will not be the selection, it will be a random card. So they think the selection is under the deck, but in reality it's still with the jokers. So then you emphasize on this deck by cutting the cards using a charlier cut, while your other hand secretly separates the two jokers. 
This is all hidden by the Charlier cart. So let's go over that one more time. First, you do the magical refill and pick up the jokers and show them that one card has appeared between the jokers. And then secretly grab a pinky brake. And then you take this packet of three cards and put it on top of the brake. So now you've got a brake of four cards. And then you pull out this first joker and show them the bottom card, which will always be the selection. And then you strip out the top card, which will be a random card. And set this joker back down, and this joker has the selection right beneath it. And they think the selection is right here, but it's not. It's over there. And then you emphasize on this deck by doing a Charlier card. While your other hand secretly separates the two jokers. So in one swift motion, it should look like this. And then you show them that one card has appeared between the jokers, which indeed is their selection. So that's basically it. So that's all I have to offer for this tutorial. This trick is part of an even larger trick known as, you guessed it, the sandwich trick. I'll leave a link from where you guys can learn the full thing down below. Click on this next video if you want to learn how to produce the 4 aces in just 5 minutes.